this is a succulent dish garden that was done probably a couple years ago or more. So what's happening here are these plants are getting lengthy in the stem and you can actually go down the stem a couple of inches from the head of the plant. Let that callus dry over. Uh, it takes usually about two to three days, sometimes maybe a week. And you can plant that whole plant into the soil so that it's back low to the ground again. So you can take it out of your container and put it into the ground or put it into another container. Also, if you take a look at this, uh, the sedums here, they have gotten real lengthy, leggy, stretched out, and just a mat of stems and not real attractive looking. You could cut these all up and do a similar, similar thing with them. Uh, let the, actually, these don't even, if they have roots in them, you see these tiny little roots here, these are air roots. If, if a succulent has those on the bottom of their stem or along the length of the stem, you can actually just put that directly in the soil. You don't have to wait for it to callus over. When you have a, a plant, a succulent, that has outgrown its container, gone beyond the edges, uh, succulents actually don't mind being crowded. You can really uh, decide that you want it to stay in this container, but if you decide no, I'd actually like it to be able to produce more offsets and continue to spread out further beyond what its potential is in the pot. Gently lift it out of the container. Massage. I like to use the word massage, the root system. We're pretending this is the ground. We're going to plant this aeonium in the ground, but I'm again, I'm loosening up the root ball some. Also too, what's really nice to do is to remove any dead leaves. People get concerned about doing this, and this is a natural part of the plant's growth. New leaves grow from the center of the plant, and it's normal, natural for the older leaves to die back. You want to make a hole or a reservoir that's going to accept the depth of the root ball. It's not, you can see that they have shallow roots. Most, most succulents do. There are some, like aloes, where the root system can be a lot uh, longer like this. And then you just want to create a larger hole prior to putting it in the ground. And I'm gonna hold it right where I want the base of the plant to rest at the top of the soil. I'm not going to dump it in there like that and then fill in. I'm going to hold the plant up and I'm going to support it at the height that it should be at the top of the soil level and scoop that soil in there. And you notice now it's in the ground and it's going to have a whole new life.